The Kenyan government is set to introduce a 1.5% digital service tax on gross revenues earned by residents and non-residents effective January 2021. This follows the June 30th enactment of Finance Act 2020, which states that income through transactions across a digital marketplace will be subject to income tax and value-added tax VAT. A digital marketplace is defined as any platform or medium through which a buyer and a seller meet online for, for sale of both goods and services. So as you can see, that, uh, that marketplace, that digital marketplace is quite huge. It covers any form of online or e-commerce activity. James Mulili, a tax expert, explains what this means for online businesses. A simple thing as me advertising my services. For example, I'm a tax consultant. If I advertise my consultancy services in whatever platform, be it Facebook, uh, be it YouTube, be it Twitter, be it even on WhatsApp, and then I go ahead and deliver my services, I would have been deemed to have fallen under the digital service tax category. And so would any other business person. So there is no restriction as to the services that would qualify. A simple thing as you buying Microsoft software online, qualifies under that category of digital service tax. The taxman recently invited e-commerce sector players, tax professionals and the general public to submit comments on the new regulations ahead of implementation. It is, however, not clear how the implementation will be done. But then still, what is not clear is this, Ivy. For example, I'm providing a service worth a thousand shillings. If you're telling me that the uh, digital service tax is 1.5% of their thousand shillings, as the service provider, am I receiving less than 1.5 or I will re still receive my net and this person, the, the, the service recipient, has to top up the 1.5 because it is the person who is making the payment that is required to remit the 1.5%. How will the system, how will, that, uh, how will that collection system be configured? And those are really the technical areas that... Uh, the government needs to give more further guidance on the regulations as to the how. What platform will people need to access to be able to, uh, to, to actually pay the tax? So what should online businesses expect once the tax comes into effect? The awareness has been created in terms of what is this tax, what is it applicable to, what are the tax rates. Uh, and to add, uh, there will also be a VAT obligation over and above the 1.5%. Remember, for any person who provides these services online and at the end of a year, a period of 12 months, they will have sales of more than 5 million Kenya shillings, then they will be required to register for VAT and charge VAT on the digital service charge that they are providing. Ivy Vuguza for Nation.Africa.